Hello everyone in YouTube, Variety Stick, and we're back for another unboxing video. Today we have the newest Metro PCS device. This will be manufactured by the CoolBad and this model name Defant. So this is the CoolBad Defant for Metro PCS. It should be a budget device for those people they are not looking forward to spend Armalade on the phone. So without any further ado, let's find out. Now this phone doesn't have fancy box. We have seen this before in other Metro VCS phones or or the previous cool bed that we have seen. Let's go ahead and flip the box and look to the specification. This device for GLTE enabled Android operating system will be Nuga 7.1.1. This is the latest in the market right now, and we have 5 inch 480p display, no high definition, full definition. This is a really budget device, 5 megapixel with autofocus camera, 2 for the front. We will check those out in the photo view. 8 gigabyte of internal storage. After everything pre installed, it will be around 4.2 gigabytes, and we have 1 gigabyte of RAM and a processor speed 1.4 quad core processor. This is something uh, decent. So, we have what it comes with it it's battery, SIM card, charger and quick start guide so let's go ahead and crack this open and see how the phone's gonna look like okay so you get my plate go ahead open this either way and the phone is sealed all the way so let me take that plastic wrap and then just throw it away and see if this gonna open okay we open the lid and here's the phone itself it shows Cool bed, the font, 5 inch, 5 megapixel, the RAM, they try to focus, they make you feel that is a high in specifications, but it's not. Here's the back of the phone, this kind of gray color over here, flash, nice cancellation, I believe, and you have the camera sensor, which is going to be 5 megapixel only, and the speaker on the phone will be located on the back. This phone also removable battery as you guys can see and that things basically for humidity and stuff like that so you can remove here's where the macro sim card that doesn't take nano sim and the sd card slot it should be up to 32 gigabytes let's go ahead and move on on this is the battery as i said it's removable and let's have a look on uh how much amperes we have it uh let me see exactly where that says that I believe it's going to be yes uh, 2450 milliamps power battery it will be over here if you guys have noticed and let's go ahead open this divider and sim card micro usb 2 no usb c of course and the charger go on the wall and you have two manuals over here i believe one english and one spanish now what we're going to do we're going to do a magic we're going to just put everything together and we will come back to you after we just bypass the system wizard, the activation screen, etc., we have the phone over here. Here is how the phone is going to look. Here is the screen. Screen, it's not the, the best thing in this device. I mean, if you watch it from any angle side, you will see all the colors there are going to be washed out, which is I'm not expecting a lot from this phone anyways. But just to be fair enough with this device, the phone looks nice. I mean, it doesn't look too, too cheap. This phone also is going to be $29 with Metro PCS which is uh, we are not spending a lot of money for people maybe they want a budget device they don't want to spend a lot of money this may be a good uh, phone to them this is the operating system and this is the nougat and this should be the Leeds operating system we can go ahead and uh, confirm that for you guys if you go just about the phone you will see 7.1.1 which is good also I have downloaded a geek bench on this device geek bench score shows that's 
more than I expected as a score for single core 648 and 1803 for multi-core score which is in my opinion good one gigabyte of RAM so this phone also is a budget let's go ahead also have a look on the specifications look like a quad core 1.4 Qualcomm technology which is for the chipset but I'm not quite sure what number of this chipset is going to be I believe from my experience it could be Snapdragon 425 which is will be good for this amount of money that you are going to spend on this device as well as we have a GPU Adreno 308 so for like not heavy games it should run just fine with no any issues or problems what I'm afraid about that the phone it's not gonna be durable or it's very fragile that way the phone is not gonna last you that much but also the phone has everything stuck I mean stuck application for messages the contact and other stuff the photo even the use Google photo here over here when you take the pictures I will go ahead and uh, study this phone more in details and also we're gonna post a full review soon so if you don't want to miss it make sure to subscribe on variety stick for more thank you so much everyone for watching as always we'll see you in the next one